you can do uh, 12 hours. 24 hours is absolutely okay. 48 hours without the, the, the refrigeration is it's good too. But the main thing is to uh, is to plan all every, the recipe in the in the procedure. According to the kind of process you will follow, you will change the, the recipe too. Because of course, if you if you use the refrigeration, you, you need more more yeast. If you use the, the the ambient temperature, you you you, you need less yeast. Uh, then to do the ideal thing, it depends also on the flour and what ideal is in your mind. If you like more tasty or I don't know, it, it depends. For example, the, the Napoli style, it's more starchy pizza, soft, uh, that melts juicy, and to have a soft and juicy pizza, you need a more starchy pizza. The more you let ferment and uh, uh, and wipe the dough, the less starch will be there. So actually, you can get a, also a low carb pizza. Low carb pizza be, because to go longer with the, the fermentation, you need more proteins, right? If you need more 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 proteins in the flour, it means that you will have less cut, less less carbohydrates. Hmm? Because the higher the protein, the lower the the, 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 the carbohydrates. Then, with the long fermentation, a part of the starch will be broken down into, into simple sugar and the simple sugar if, uh, sugar will be used by the yeast and transformed in gas and alcohol and the alcohol is burned during the, the baking so actually part of the starch will fade away and if you start if you use higher protein and, low, and lower car, 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 carbohydrates uh, flour you will have a lower carb pizza okay then it's up to you the ideal one the ideal one is up to to what you choose for your market. Okay. So this has been pre-baked. This will really be handy, as you see. Actually, you, you can prepare everything ahead of time and decide it. You can once you have it. You see, it's really crispy. So this is a stuffed pizza. Normally, a stuffed pizza like a, a, a calzone is extremely chewy, heavy. It's difficult that everybody can eat everything of it because there is a part of the dough that is really dense and uh, sealed together, no? And there is not possible to bake it properly. Okay. In this case, first of all, you, you, can, you can put as much ingredient as you want. Since the dough is already baked, the bubbles are already there, so you will have, you will have always a good alveolus inside. But you don't need to, to put a lot, since you will keep in the, the ingredients, will be in the oven only for one minute, one minute and a half. So you will keep the freshness of the ingredients. In the, for example, the mozzarella will not eva evaporate too much, so you need less ingredients, and the freshness of the product will, will be high. And it's fast to be prepared. You prepare the pizza when, when you have time. You can also prepare the pizza in one place and deliver it to, to more places and so on. What's the role of salt in the fermentation process? This is your with yep. extra ingredients, you would say. Absolutely. Cool. So, salt, so besides giving some taste, some taste, mm -hmm. it's important because actually it has two actions. Antiseptic, antiseptic. So, so it kills the yeast? That, uh, sorry? So it's killing the yeast and the enzymes? Yeah, mm, the, the yeast more. The yeast is a one cell uh, Single beat, cell organism. You know? So yeah. actually when the salt is close to the yeast, there is osmosis um, process since the, uh, the salt content of the salt is much higher of the of the liquid inside of the of the yeast of the single cell of the yeast the uh, water of the yeast will migrate outside of the yeast through the membrana the the, the skin of the yeast and the yeast will, will be killed okay so normally you don't put the salt together with the yeast but you 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 can do it for by using more yeast or 
for less salt. It's a matter of balancing the dish. And the yeast and the salt also makes uh, stiffer the gluten. Be because absorbing the water takes some water out of the gluten that be the that becomes more uh, rigid. So, so it tightens it the dough. Tighter, yeah, tighter. So do you recommend not to add salt? To add salt? Probably not to add salt. No, absolutely, yes. And more the, the normally in the pizza you add the uh, on flour you can go from mm, two and a half percent to <laughs> yeah. three and a half four, four percent according to, to the kind of pizza you're doing. Napoli style higher, the other style less. The higher the, the salt, the starchier the pizza. The higher the salt, the softer the pizza. How is the pizza? So, yeah, good. Uh, I haven't got to the dough bit, I just took the bit so it wouldn't fall on the ground. But it, you're right, it holds itself, so yeah, yeah. which is what it's most quite, pizzas... It's quite rich, right? Yes. Quite rich. Of course, you, you, you can put also more of it. Okay, now he's showing you how he prepares a smile. A smile is this kind of pizza, okay? We bake. If you, wanna, if you are interested, we, we do it now. Che domanda ti ha fatto di questa? Okay. Actually, when he stretches the dough for to do the this kind of pizza, the al he stretches without any edge. And he does it extremely thin. So you see, even if the dough is extremely thin, this is the thickness. You see how thin it is. So it would say, okay, you will have a really thin and inconsistent pizza. This is the pizza you get. As I was explaining, since the alveolus will expand and the structure of the gluten will make a really consistent and voluminous pizza, even if extremely thin. So, uh, he puts the oil only on the half of it, and then he bends it in the middle, and then he makes three holes. Okay, a, li a little bit of oil on the top. And then makes two, three holes. And then the pizza is uh, ready to be baked. Stretched well. And that's a zero or a one? Zero with uh, soy flour. Okay. Sourdough, a little bit of semolina, and a little, little bit of rice flour. Rice flour? Uh, pinza. Do you know pinza? Pinza. Pinza. Pinza is actually is a new trend. It's quite trendy in Roma, but not only in Roma. In, uh, in Moscow, we have, we, have, we have customers in Moscow, in uh, England, in uh, all over Europe. And now also in the uh, United States. It's a kind of small vitamin pizza, one portion. Normally it's pre-baked and you take all the pre-baked base in front of the, of, of the customers. When the customers come in, they choose the ingredients, you put it on the pizza and you bake it immediately. And it's become popular and popular. It's a, di it's a different kind of concept. Pizza, yes. And it's done with uh, higher duration uh, Dough, long fermentation dough, it's the same That's concept. the soy flour. What's the rice flour for? You knew I was going to ask. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, you can ask. Uh, yeah? The consistency uh, and... Uh, the okay, this is the nine days dough. All right. 
the, the flower helps you to absorb the water and for the crispness. Mm. It's like when you do also. Um, okay, let me see here. So what's the weight of the dyes in the? Eh? When you do the the fried ja the Japanese also use the flower and yep. the tempura, no? Yeah. The way it's creamy, crispy, and so on. Okay, it helps. Like that. It lights so, it up. Yeah. yeah, it helps to do that. Yeah, and where the soybeans make it heavier. And we also stretch with uh, white semolina. In, the, in this case, have you seen? We did, we prepared a soft pizza mm. stretching with the semolina. So, so we stretch with rice flour only. With rice flour. Is that okay? I don't want to More for the, the Okay, the normally you should you stretch really with soft wheat flour. Soft wheat flour is extremely starchy. Okay? It means that when you are dusting the flour, you arise a lot, a lot of dust, you are inhalating it, and it's bad for, for your heart. For your Second, it sticks a lot to, to, to the dough. When you put in the baking, it burns and, be, and becomes bitter. Okay? And uh, with the same oil, this is actually, this is a, our product, which is a dusting flour made of uh, three kinds of semolina. Uh, white corn semolina and doom with semolina. So it doesn't stick too much to the dough. When it goes inside, it hardly burns. It's really difficult to burn. It never becomes bitter. Doesn't arise any, any dust. Gives some little more uh, crunchy uh, effect. And the taste is different. And the color, too, is different. It gives some color, some, some, uh, some, uh, some rustic effect. So now it's partially pre-baked. So normally you just open it and you let it cool down. Okay. Huh?